Hello again. I sometimes wonder if I'm the only person in the United Kingdom who actually knows anything about history. I don't mean that to sound arrogant, although of course that's how it comes across. But things happen now every single day which cause me to gasp at the sheer ignorance of so many people. This awful lack of knowledge is most obvious when matters of supposed racism are involved. I give a link in the description of this video to a newspaper article about a group of Morris dancers who have for years been painting their faces black and have decided that this is too upsetting for some people and so have switched to blue paint instead. There have for several years anyway been murmurings of course about the very expression Morris dancers. The suggestion has been made that the word Morris is a corruption of Moorish, in other words, dark-skinned people from North Africa, and this lends a very suspect character to things like blacking up. Maybe they are like some latter-day minstrel show and mocking the cultural traditions of a visible minority. They are doing nothing of the kind, of course, and this blacking up that has absolutely no connection at all with the blacking up of white people trying to impersonate banjo playing Negroes from the southern states of America, which is, of course, what minstrel shows were. In fact, it has nothing whatsoever to do with black people of any kind. There has for at least a thousand years, certainly since the Norman Conquest in 1066, been a tradition of poachers who go hunting at night, blacking their faces so that they are less able to be seen in the dark. It's been used as a form of camouflage and indeed still is in some rural districts. It serves an additional function of making the culprits hard to identify should they bump into a gamekeeper. Soot was often used for the purpose. In 18th century England, there was a financial crisis in the early part of the century, following the collapse of the so-called South Sea Bubble, which led to an economic decline, which in turn left many ordinary working people struggling to survive and put food on their table. Poaching became not only a way to get free food, but also uh, something akin to a revolutionary weapon a way of hitting back against the rich and the powerful and the landowners. The men doing this in the early 1720s were called the blacks because they blacked up their faces. There were two very famous and aggressive groups, uh, one in Hampshire and the other in Windsor Forest. The Hampshire gang was known as the Waltham Blacks. As a result of this activity, which was seen as an attack on the state, the Black Act was passed in 1723. This made it a hanging offence to be found in a forest or royal park with one's face blacked or otherwise disguised. It is in a conscious air of transgressing and mischief-making that Morris dancers black their faces. They're referencing the uh, Black Act and the Blacks. It has nothing whatsoever to do with black people and everything to do with a bit of my history, which dates back 300 years. I cannot for the life of me imagine why these Morris dancers have been so craven as to give way on this point and stop blacking their faces. How many black people go to see Morris dancers anyway? Have any black people complained about Morris dancers with blacked faces? Whose idea is this nonsense? Little by little, the customs and traditions of England are abandoned because nobody seems to have the courage to tell these interfering wretches to get lost and mind their own damn business. I'm bound to say that I'm getting pretty tired of people moaning about every aspect of English life and finding something offensive about everything from pubs called the Black Boy to Morris dancing. I have an idea that these people will not be satisfied until we have surrendered our cultural identity entirely and adopted that of other nations. This process is of course well underway. When I was at primary school we learned country dancing and sang English folk songs. 
These days, African drumming is far more common. Why is it always our own culture, though, which must be the one to be sacrificed? <laughs>